Today I am a horse. Dear God, did you have to make my poor old horse lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? It wasn't nice. <laughs> it's enough you pick on me, tell me. Bless me with five daughters, life of poverty. What have you got against my horse? <laughs> you know, sometimes I think when things are too quiet up there, you say to yourself, let's see, what kind of mischief can I play on my friend Tevye? Nah, you're finally here, my breadwinner. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Where is your horse? He was invited to the blacksmiths for the Sabbath. Hurry up, this time won't wait for you. I have something to say to you. As the good book says, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We've got the sickness already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm starving to death. You made many, many poor people. I realize, of course, it's no shame to be poor. But it's no great honor, either. So what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, all day long I'd be if I were a wealthy man, wouldn't have to work hard. If I were a pretty, very rich, idle, little, idle, idle man, I'd build a big, tall house with rooms by the dozen, right in the middle of the town. A fine tin roof with a wooden floors below. There would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for sure. I'd fill my yard with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see and hear. Squawking just as noisily as they can. And each loud the king of the sky would land like a trumpet of the ear, as if to say, Here lives all wealthy man. Hey. If I were rich, I would be blessed. All day like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin, supervising meals to her heart's delight. I see her putting on airs and strutting like a peacock. Why, oh, what a happy mood she's in. Screaming at the servants day and night. The most important man in town will come to fall on me. They will ask me to advise them like a sullen wise. If you please, Red Tevier, me, Red Tevier. Posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. I'd 
discuss the holy books with the learned men seven hours every day. This 